My name is Tracy Ward, and I listen to Free Talk Live. Ian, man up. Stop being such a baby about crap. And Mark, I love you, but sometimes you don't. You just go off on those rants just a little bit too hardcore. Love you guys. <laughs> I'm with Tracy Ward. Uh, Tracy is a Lola girl. She's also in the Lola calendar. If you haven't got one, go pick one up. What are you waiting for? Uh, I'm going to talk to Tracy about homeschooling. I'm doing a series on homeschooling. And the big question that keeps coming up is people really don't like what the government schools are doing. And they're worried that they don't want to homeschool because they're worried their kids will be socially inept. How do you handle that? Um, well, what I did was I found local homeschooling groups. And um, there's usually local groups in your neighborhood, in your city, that um, the homeschooling groups get together. And they, like ours does classes once a week. And so the girls get to go to the classes and interact with other kids. Um, honestly, I say that homeschooling kids, um, re they get along with even older people better than kids their age who are around kids their age all the time and not interacting with adults. Do, um, do they have their own sports leagues or anything like that? They do have their own sports leagues. They even have choir that they can get involved with. They have... Um, Field trips? Field trip. Oh, yeah, field trips. We went to the Federal Reserve. That was fun. <laughs> you did a field trip where you went to the Federal <laughs> yes. Reserve? Tell me about it. Uh, well, that was interesting because the girls and I watched the Money Masters, right, like the day before we went to the Federal Reserve, and um, the lady was giving us all sorts of, you know, the tour and explaining everything, and my kids kept going, Mom, Mom, she's not telling the truth. She's lying. <laughs> And they do, this was like at the very beginning of homeschooling, so they didn't have the gumption to like really stand up and ask questions yet. But they want to go back now because they want to drill the people and they want to school the people that are actually working at the Federal Reserve to be like, you guys don't understand what you're doing. So how old are your, your little activists? Uh, mine are 11 and 10. And they know everything already? They know quite a bit already. <laughs> it's really kind of scary. I have people going, oh, how old are you? <laughs> Great. Um, so how would someone, say, the mother that is thinking about it or the father that wants to transition into homeschooling, where do they start? Um, I honestly, I did a ton of research on the, on, on the Internet, um, and Katie uh, Brewer helped me out a ton with uh, finding an awesome curriculum to use. She uses Robinson Curriculum, and they have to actually read Murray Rothbard books on economics, which is something that kids even in public school they don't you don't learn about economics in in public school they don't teach you any of that stuff so it's something that I'm, I'm the girls love it I love it and there's tons of information on the internet there you can take classes on the internet you can do anything now were you scared to be like you know I'm not a teacher I have no idea how to teach these kids you know that's another thing I hear is I don't know what I'm doing well it's really funny because I originally wanted to be a teacher when I graduated school so I went to community college for a couple years it was gonna go be that teacher be the one to make a difference in kids lives and I hated college <laughs> <laughs> so for me it wasn't too scary of a step to take and honestly kids are very self-motivated they want to learn they want they want to know things so it's not hard to say have at it. If you have questions, ask me. And nine times out of ten, they want to do it all by themselves, and they don't want me to try and influence them in any way. They want to learn it and understand it on their own, and then we regurgitate it and talk about it. So you find that the kids are, at that age, smart enough to figure out how they learn best, and you just give them the freedom to, of course, yes. to attack it the way they want. Because that's what you need to do. I mean, because kids want to learn. And you figure out where your niche is, where, how your kids like learning, the best way to... Um, get them involved in things and then you if you step back and you watch them and you learn from them how best they enjoy educating themselves and you how they interact with you in education now as far as um colleges say your kid wants to go on to to school in a college how do they handle homeschooling do they just look at like sat scores or how do they um in the homeschooling group that i've hung out with and, and been a part of they actually have kids that are 14 and 15 years old taking classes at the community college. No GED, no, they, what they do is they um, apply and they usually have an interview with the dean of the school and then he determines whether or not they're mature enough, knowledgeable enough to be able to take the classes, understand what the teacher's teaching and 
all the kids that I know, there's about there's about ten or fifteen of them that are in the group, and they go to the college and they actually take classes. So, um, you know, colleges these days, they want to, they actually like homeschooled kids better because they're, they're just they're brighter. They have critical thinking skills, which most kids in public education don't have. And the last thing I want to ask you is. There, as I used to be a chiropractor, some of the biggest reasons people homeschooled is they didn't want to vaccinate their kids. Um, how is that in the homeschooling community? Do they? Uh, 90, I would say 90% of the moms that I know have never vaccinated their kids. I've never vaccinated my kids, and I go to chiropractor.